he suddenly asked me, do you want to go to Estonia next month? And I was like, what? <laughs> Actually, we know each other from competitions because quite many times we join the same competitions and coincidentally, we won the same place, right? Yeah, and in the same category, yeah. Yeah, so it's interesting. Yeah. No, bang, that, that, that long, the big chords. Ah. Three, go. Going to Estonia is pretty a um, miracle because I got the notice to go to Estonia two weeks before head of the music department in UITM bumped into me in the lift and then she suddenly asked me do you want to go to Estonia next month and I was like what <laughs> and then she asked me to uh, send like a, a video of me playing the piano to the school uh, to the school admin and like just like less than one week I just got the email that they accept me for a full scholarship to go there. So, yeah, it's a miracle. I was actually planning to do my master's degree a long time ago when I was still studying in UCSI. I decided to do my audition in end of 2021. Yeah, so I do my audition that time and then I apply to a few schools and hope for get, getting a scholarship and graduate assistantship. So in the end, I, I got that, uh, a very good offer from Miami University. I have to arrive to Estonia uh, in February. So when I arrived there, what's in my head was like, okay, when I arrive there, please, I just want to see how snow looks like. I never been to Europe. I never uh, seen any snow. Europe is the place where famous composer where they are from. Uh, for example, uh, Norway, where it's Greek from Finland, Siberia, and many more. Uh, Germany, we have Bach, Beethoven, all these uh, composers. So when I get the chance to travel and explore uh, those countries in Europe, it made me feel um, closer. And it's, it's true, the vibe, the energy of from their composition, you know. So for example, when you go to Norway, you listen to the to Greek pieces, and you can imagine how from the uh, scenery and with the music. The current city that I'm living in is like countryside, so during the night, I am able to see stars. So I usually do my stargazing moment at a, in, in the midnight. So with listening to some music and you know the beautiful scenery, I usually can relate more. So I can apply that to my musical imaginary. I can really feel the, the passionate and the open-minded kind of feeling of Americans because they brought me to Asian uh, restaurants to have dinner or have meals. So it's a very interesting experience and I, I start to recommend that, oh, you can eat this and that. And they would say, oh, this, this tastes very good, something like that. It's quite an interesting experience that, yeah, we are like exchanging the culture. In Europe, generally, um, the, the musical uh, activity, especially classical music, is more active than yeah, Malaysia. <laughs> Yeah, and people are way more supportive and you can see uh, for example when you go to shopping malls or anywhere you can you can see the poster uh, but in Malaysia it's quite difficult right yeah people yeah. people have different uh, interests in Malaysia so it's totally different culture I have played for some of the community concerts or performance a small one um, they are very supportive the the old folks in the place that, that I currently stay in, they are very supportive and you can tell that they are really love music a lot. Yeah. No matter how good or bad you're playing, they are very encouraging, yeah. they're very supportive. Yeah. So it's very difficult to find this kind of spirit in uh, in Malaysia actually. Yeah, that's the the most um, direct 
influence that I would say. I say to myself like, oh, this is my place. I love this because people are so active. They are they love music so much. Mm. <laughs> they really support you, like Chileng said. Yeah. Likewise. I choose to go to the US is because I know there's more funding available in the States compared to other countries like um, UK. Yeah. So um, because I'm not coming from a very wealthy family, so I usually look for um, fundings um, or financial helps from schools or any any possibilities. When I came back to Malaysia, I really want to show to people that classical music is for everyone. Classical music is for everyone because sometimes people often thought that classical music is for the elite class. Yeah, as you can see, a uh, lot of classical concerts in Malaysia for me personally is quite uh, expensive. When I when I'm in Europe, they have a lot of um, reasonable price. I think so. Mm -hmm. When I'm back here, I want to, yeah, I want to promote classical music for everyone. Some people might not be interested with classical music because they were shocked. Maybe they were introduced to classical music uh, in the different way. I think one of the easiest way to approach people with classical music is to play something yang senang nak didengar lah yang boleh diterima oleh orang ramai uh, something that is pleasant yeah you want to give the first impression to people right so i think if someone wants to approach to classical music i would recommend to start listening to the, some chamber music like some piano duet works two pianos works because they're actually more interesting and you can see the spark in between the musicians and also more things to listen rather than just listening to piano solo work. There's a drama series called Nodame Cantabile. So there's a lot of classical music and it's actually chamber work. So I feel very fascinating when I saw uh, Nodame played with her senpai. So I feel very fascinating. So I was like keep listening throughout the weeks and yeah, I listen it every day. So I, I think that particular drama has a very big impact to me. Chamber music stands a very big role in my musical journey. What we can conclude is the <laughs> to 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 inspire people to love classical music. We 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 have to be smart <laughs> to promote easier the, to understand yeah. kind of music. Yeah, that's the starting point. Yeah. Yeah. And then from there we there indulge. We to deeper. deeper work. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's our job, it's my job as a musician to promote classical music to people. So I hope people will love classical music more in the future.